All right. So we got our next one for y'all, man. Y'all told we were done. <laughs> y'all ain't getting rid of us that easy, y'all. We got our next episode of the 2K crossover with your boy J and All City, man. Man, man y'all introduce yourself, man. I ain't introducing no grown hey, ass man. You, Jay, go ahead, Jay. Hey, man, you know. Hey, uh, Mr. Paul's in the building. Jay Easy, aka Mr. <laughs> Paul's, because that's that's what they that's what they starting to act that's like I am in the now? comment section, bro. Oh, that's what they acting man. like, man, like I'm Mr. Paul's or something. Like they looking for the next Paul's moment from Jay. Yeah, y'all are not character. getting, yeah, I ain't getting no Paul's moment. He got you, bro. Not not he even got you. one today. Don't worry about it. No Paul's it's coming. Don't today. worry about it. Jeez. I promise you, it'll be here very soon. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, what's good y'all right, all city here appreciate y'all tuning in to this new episode of the 2k crossover let's get it in bro all right man so we got some hot topics for y'all man because it's been chaos this entire week man my jump mm -hmm. shot been good on one bill been bad on the next been consistent today bad tomorrow it seemed like 2k doing a bunch of hot fix but they ain't putting mm -hmm. out no notes man they let us know nothing there is a huge transparency problem Right now, I think you're scared of them, but we're gonna talk about it. But what is your opinion, or what is your opinion right now on 2K putting out these hot fixes and just not letting us know anything, man? We can start off with you, City. All right, so I got a lot to say about this, man, because um, it's discouraging. I thought it's turning a new leaf, and I thought they were gonna take this journey with us and follow through all the way till the game became stabilized and okay. left alone. Oh, man, was I wrong. Uh, I didn't want to get that feeling that we normally get each year. You guys know each year the devs are here for a half a minute to sell the game, and then they're gone. I was hoping that wasn't the case this year, and I'm trying my best not to be too harsh on the dev team. I know they got a lot to deal with, and I know their intention. They mean well. They want to make things happen. They want to make things good. But unfortunately, they're up to their same old tactics, and we haven't heard anything from them. And now we get changes to the game that anybody who plays the game on a regular basis will quickly realize there are changes to shooting again. Unfortunately for me, we're now, I think, four changes in, yeah. official changes at least. And unfortunately for me, on this last change, I cannot lock in the shooting, as I told you guys in, in the video. I can't lock it in, so now I feel stuck and at a loss. I'm going to hit the lab, try to get it right, but man, I really don't like the lack of transparency. I was hoping the dev team was going to follow through the whole journey, and I was going to feel more comfortable about spending money next year if had they done that. I think I, I, I think I figured it out with the shooting, man. They added mm. another animation, um, if I'm not mistaken, and you have to trust your eyes from what you're seeing on the catch. Now, I can't help y'all if you're shooting off the dribble. That ain't what I do. So, Brute gonna have to mm -hmm. help y'all with shooting off the dribble. But if you're catching, they added this animation where they're catching it above their, like, like above their head. Yeah. It used to be right here, and it used to be below the belt, so it used to be two. Right. Now it's up here above the head, which that's gonna be super fast. And then if it's up here, then it's, it'll be regular fast. And then below the waist is going to be your regular thing. So I, I, I had to look at some videos uh, and, and kind of see what was going on. But, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a catch and shoot person, so I, I can't be missing because, you know, people going to talk about me. Can but, I add one thing to what you just said, oh, yeah, Jay? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because uh, we had a similar issue where we was getting these weird catches prior, and they may have just added what you had mentioned. But what one of my homies told me about All City Tron mentioned that if you change it, and I know this sounds weird, but if you change, we put this to the test, by the way, you change mm -hmm. your triple threat. I was using Kobe Bryant. Yep. Kobe Bryant on his triple threat catches the ball lower, or he holds the ball lower before he goes into a pull-up. Right. And you can see this in the triple threat animation. So he had me switch to Joel Embiid. Yes. And it was yeah, an instant I did. change. Yeah, I did it the first mm -hmm. uh, the first mm -hmm. first day somebody told me that in my comment section or what have you. And I've been, mm -hmm. I've been using that since like, and maybe that's why I'm not having the same issues because mm -hmm. I've been using Joel Embiid since like uh what since that monday when they dropped the first the big patch mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. what when the game came out friday saturday sunday i was using the regular one monday i couldn't shoot somebody said you got to put on joel and be uh triple threat style so so you won't drop low because i was using default and triple default threat. drops low yeah your triple wow. threat can impact because joel and b he does, he does triple threat from up here 
He keeps the ball yeah. high. You see, Everybody this is the moment now. that if you guys didn't catch that, Jay was just flexing. Like, you want to run the instant replay yeah, that, Jay? Yeah, see what I'm saying? Joel Embiid is up here with <laughs> And then he hold the ball above. He keep the ball above his head <laughs> like that. And then he says, I'm going to pass oh, it over here. I'm going to pass it that way. <laughs> this way. He's right. going that way. Yeah. And we going, and y'all know where we going. To the moon! Hey, hey man. <laughs> you might be the only person getting juice for a podcast. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold on, yo, y'all doing the pocket? Yeah, B, let me get this boost. Hold on. I know, right? <laughs> you might be the only person. Oh, I know. Man. Getting That's juice. Right. But yeah, it, for a podcast, bro. I, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Bro? But that is that is definitely what you have to do, man. So if you haven't mm-hmm. used Joel and B, you can use Joel and B. They said somebody else. I think they said Kobe Bryant is like the next best one or what have mm-hmm. you. But mm-hmm. somebody told me in my comment section, but that's what I use Joel and B, and it keeps it more upright. So if you catch it and you pause, yeah. then he'll bring it to his chest instead of dropping it below his waist. Mm-hmm. So okay. But so I you feel that, about you feel any like major changes? throughout the week when it comes to the shooting though? I did feel the changes, but I was able to adapt pretty quick. Um, my worst yeah. day was probably Tuesday, I think, mm. was when everything kind of went haywire. It was Tuesday, I felt like it was real slippery. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, it was one of the days. They did something one of those days. It was the day that everybody said something. When me and you mm-hmm. were talking about it, and we was like, no, 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 no. What was it, the weekend? So it was the weekend that I couldn't, yeah. that I was having trouble over the weekend. But when Monday and Tuesday came, I was back to normal. It's like they, whenever mm-hmm. they said they switched it back, I was good. But all the mm-hmm. rest of them, I'm feeling them. But I didn't feel them as, I'm not feeling these as bad as I was feeling over the weekend. The weekend was terrible. Like, I was like, bro, I'm just, I'm really just out here guessing. Like, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I'm guessing right, but I'm just mm-hmm. out here guessing. I, I don't know what I'm doing. That's how it feels for me, guessing. Yeah, oh, no. for me it's a little weird though. Like some of my bills, I shoot really good. Like with my six six and my six eight, I shoot really consistent. Mm-hmm. But above right. that, with my six nine, I struggle. It's weird, and I well, use the same three point attribute on all of them. My six nine got about eighty five. It's pretty high, pretty solid. And the six six, six six, same thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. Let me use the exact same jump shot on mm-hmm. both of them. The crazy mm, right. thing is most people are having the, the inverse. They can't shoot with the small bills, but with the big bills, six nine and above, they like okay, yeah. with those. Yeah. For me, I know it just feels smooth on my six six for some reason, right? So I I'm a little confused by that. Um overall when, when it comes to the transparency, I think y'all might have just scared the devs into hiding, y'all. Over the past few weeks. Y'all been going in. I say y'all, y'all part of the 2K community. Y'all been going in and it has been a lot of negative feedback. I think when it's all positive, it's good. It's fun to be out there mixing up with the 2K community. You know what I mean? All right, we good. One of the best games ever. All right, good. Yes, we proud. We out here in front and, you know what I mean? We giving y'all feedback, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as things start hitting the fan, <laughs> after the last major patch, yeah, it, it's ghost. They might put out a little statement here on Reddit or something. I see it, it got so bad now that Mike Queen is putting out gifts. on Reddit. Oh, oh yeah, that was hilarious. He ain't going yeah. to respond no more. He just put out a gift saying basically he approved of something. Yeah. That's no. bad. It's bad. <laughs> Speaking of that Reddit post, how did y'all feel about that, that, that Reddit post uh, that my man was talking about? Because, I mean, it makes it makes a lot of sense. But a lot of people, mm-hmm. they just default to, I get what my man's saying, but I don't care. It's a video game. I ain't trying. <laughs> I want to shoot unrealistic percentages. And I will. Because mm. to be honest, to be fair, when we yeah. watch the Pro-Am guys play and they're not playing yeah. comp Pro-Am against each other, when they're not going, everybody going into the yeah. back room and, 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 you know, locking themselves in and they just they just sweating it out and just mm-hmm. last man standing, just, just Royal Rumble style or whatever, just fighting yeah. to the death. When they just playing yeah. regular people, the pro am looks like it looks like NBA Jam. Like they hitting every shot. They doing yeah. they go into the rim. They doing everything. But when they right. it only seems like when they're playing against comp in the pro am that it's an issue. Not just mm. not just regular pro am. Regular pro am they killing them. So mm. right. Hmm. I I mean that's what they wanted, ain't it? I keep saying that's what they wanted. That's my always my answer with that. I, I think pro am should be way harder because that's what they wanted. I'm sorry, my stance is not going to change on that. I don't feel sorry for them. 
I see a lot of them now creating slashes because <laughs> <laughs> they, these are the two bills, right? The new bills got like around with 73 ball and really high midi. So they right. turn into a mid range specialist that could dunk if you step up. I love it. I love it. But now when you watch Pro-Am, it's a little bit more it basketball. It does seem like a real basketball mm. game, right? And it, mm. it does. Yeah. It did feel like, it does feel like when you're watching yeah. this, you are feeling like you're watching a real basketball game. And then, like I said, I seen Bear play against, play with the Bears against just whoever. And I'm like, yo, he got 50. <laughs> he shoot, he don't like, he's got 50 points with like, like uh, nine or 10 from three. Like every shot, he, he not mm. even, he's talking to the chat and he's just yeah. leaning and greening. It's just, it's crazy. Mm. Mm. But in the comp pro am, it's just way yeah. different. So then you're, you're basically saying that uh, the skill gap is there at higher levels of competition. At regular pro am, yeah, folks are shooting fine, but when they yeah. when they play against tougher defense, they miss. I don't know if it's tougher defense, better bills, better schemes, mm. or what? better schemes. I believe yeah. it's better schemes and better mm. bills. It's a, right. it's a, it's a combination, mm. right? And I believe that defense is really good to see if you know what you're doing. So guess yeah. what? You can't free hunt like you used to. You right. see, you see, even in rec, when we reach up against these pro am people in thing and me and Gambit no. take on that pick and roll, once right. you know how to play right, that's because the quick stops are way more harder this year. Correct. Um, once you could hit a slight contest, I see people showing high contest going in. But let's be honest, it's not going in that often anymore. It's not mm. it's not at a high rate. That's the thing. Like just like you said, like we 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 not mad at it because it's not at a high rate. Yeah. It sucks when you lose a game like that, but it, it's it's not often enough for me to to cause concern. Not for me anymore. Exactly. You want to see the blue moon, someone gonna hit one of those, but more often than not, they're gonna miss. They're the team that get the most rebounds in NBA 2K24 wins. Right. Trust me, if you could control the boards. You have a really good shot at winning, which is how it is in real basketball as right. well. Mm. And a lot of the fast breaks are taken away in comp pro am too, because a lot of points we used to be scored on get the yeah. ball, launch it, point guard gets somewhere yeah, around the three line and he gets an easy shot or he stops at the yeah, three point yeah. line and shoot. Now, not <laughs> now, not only is that shot not a sure shot anymore, but people are getting back because that hitch that used to be in the game when where the defense couldn't get back, you know, off we we all know. Your center gets the rebound. You get a running start, and then okay. the off, the offense is gone, and the defense has to wait for the screen to turn before we can even move. Mm. That's pretty mm. much gone now, as much as it can mm. be gone. So, so like people are getting back a lot better. It's yeah, just not yeah. a lot of free points. Yeah, but well, this is a game they wanted, though. They talk about skill gap. So again, I don't care. <laughs> All right, which brings me to the next question, man. And this is a question we might have to take ourselves out of the situation, man. Do you think we have too much access to the devs, y'all? Because the reason why I ask this is, right, we could really make an argument that the last two 2Ks at launch, right, after they make the first initial patch, has been some of the best 2Ks we've experienced mm. for right. years. Mm. And then as the devs continue, they continue to get feedback from whoever, whoever, whoever is in the air, they continue to make changes to the point that, you know, we're just not happy with the product. <laughs> right. So point now, I'm still having fun with the game. Yes, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no, but there was a better version of this game I played a few weeks ago. <laughs> you on what? board? You on board with the better version? This is this is not the game that we're playing. This is what I'm saying. Yes. Right. So I want your feedback on that. The question again is. Do we have too much access to the devs? We're going to start off with you, Jay, on this one. I think that I think that there's no such thing as that, man, because you can have access, but they don't have to listen to you. So I, I think mm. that I think that you know what I'm saying. Like how many times we done had this chick, and we you know we we dated her, and she says, "I'm just done with you," period. And then you know you keep trying to get back, but she just she knows she got to cut you off in order for her to have a. Cause, Cause, she, she, she knows she. I, I'm saying it the way that I can. The I'm only way familiar. I can say it. I'm the. I'm saying it the only way that I can say it. Okay, like it's over with. Cause, cause you're ruining my life, Jay. I, I, I love you too much. I can't do this and that. This is back in college, by the way, not now. But y'all understand <laughs> what I'm saying. She got to cut you off for her own well being. So, with that <laughs> being the case, you need, you that was a problem. You don't just talk to my G. I got yeah, you, bro. You yeah, need, uh, we talk all this after. You look like you was the right. Okay, you know. 
know. Just anyway, know she got to catch him. He did that to him in high school. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. y'all know what I'm saying. When, when a chick got to cut you off for her own well being because yeah. they know that you're not you're not serious about the relationship, <clears throat> and they <clears throat> want to be in a serious relationship. So, and oh. they know that that you are their weakness. So, as oh. you being their weakness, they know they can't be around you because they know what's gonna happen. They lose focus, and right. they can't be the best version of themselves. Because right. I'm just gonna be real with you, I wouldn't shit in college. I'm just, it, it, but that's not the point. The point is the devs have to do the same thing. They can listen to what we're saying, but mm. you don't have to take all advice ain't good advice. So, so if you put something out, just let's rock with it. If this is your vision, y'all are playing my vision. Thank you. I'm not playing your vision. Thank you. So yeah. keep going with it, and just just do do what you do, make some small tweaks. Let's take care of the things that are broken, all the lag, the 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 things that are objectively wrong with the game. I feel like if we fix those first, I feel like maybe a lot of those, the, the things that are subjectively wrong will right themselves. Maybe steals were bad or seem worse than what they were because of the lag. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe Unpluckable mm -hmm. needs a small, you know, little, little bitty. Please don't get tick. them started. But you know, it, mm. it is no, don't let it be nothing. No, let's take care of things. <laughs> so let's take care of lag, error codes, mm. things mm. like that. Getting kicked out, getting banned for thirty minutes when they there quit, stuff like that. Let's take care of things that are objectively wrong prior to you know tuning the things that are subjectively wrong. Because I felt like the game was fine on lunch. I loved every second of it, and I'm still loving the game. And I'm finding a lot of uh, a lot of enjoyment in making new builds and building them up. I'm kind of addicted to that right now, but on a no money spent wave because after my initial nice. money, I ain't put nothing else in it. So, uh, nice. I mean, yeah, I like it, but it ain't it ain't the game that I like at lunch. I loved it way more at lunch. Facts. All right, cool. So it's like your girl in the same way. College, when she start making changes, you love her before then. I think that was why she left you, Jay. I just want to put this out there. What? Oh, watch the city. <laughs> I think that's why you, know, you no. didn't show her up. Instead yes. of appreciation and love you were showing her early, you didn't show her later in the relationship. I can definitely that's agree with that. But I think, I think, hey, listen, man, all of us guilty of that in college, man. You don't know what you got until it's gone. <clears throat> Y'all talking about, I got you, though, man. I got you, man. You got to show us a cry on, I got you, my Okay, G. okay, so then, flip, so then just flipping and say, so the oh. next time you see the same issue, the same situation, and you knew, come on, we all know we got, we had one that got away. Let's just be real. But they just I made room. I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah, man. You gotta but get they, personal. But they, they just on, made man. room for the one that didn't, we just made sure, they just made room for the one that we made sure wasn't gonna get away. So the <laughs> next time we saw a woman like that, what do we do? Okay, I know what to do with this time. I'm not gonna make <laughs> those same mistakes. But mm -hmm, I feel like the 2K mm -hmm. devs don't do that. It's like, mm -hmm. they come in, and it's like we knew the game was broken. We, you know, we knew steals was broken, but we knew that's the only thing that kept the guards in check. So what do they do? Let's change steals again. Then you change steals, and the same thing happens over and over. And while we're talking about things happen over and over, why do we have the same issues at every lunch? I don't get Thank it. You. It's like that make no sense. All right, <laughs> there should be like a checklist, yes. like an initial checklist to say, all right, this is good. Latency is good. All right, this is good. No more lag. All right, this is good. They can match up. Fantastic. It's an online game. You play with your friends. Priority number one, make sure they're able to link up. Right. Uh, yeah, I feel you all the way, bro. But yeah, City, what do you think about that? Like, if the, we got too much access to the <clears throat> I feel very similar to Jay. Um, I, I, the only difference that I have, and maybe you guys agree with this as well, the only difference that I have is that we're, we're not dealing with an up-and-coming development team. These guys are captains absolute captains of industry they're leading and paving the way in the gaming industry so mm, to to put this short is just they should know better bro they have the most experience they hire tons of engineers to make this happen they have an expansive team over there it's not like two people in a room trying to develop a game they got endless resources they should know better and on top of that I could only imagine the analytical data that goes into our gameplay that they study to a T. They study this stuff. How many hours we're getting on? When does fatigue kick in? Things like this. They're studying all that stuff. They should know what's best for us, and they should stand on the product that they intend to deliver. And remember, remember prior, remember prior to 2K24 dropping, we were all thinking. 
<clears throat> this got to be amazing because the dev team is out and about. They are mm-hmm. standing on it. We were all on that type of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now, now things done changed. Crickets. I, mm-hmm. And this got me thinking. I ain't gonna throw y'all. This is might be a little controversial. Mm-hmm. Me and Jay always have this discussion. Do we really believe in a democracy? Because that's basically what we combat in here, right? Yeah. Because in democracy, everybody have a vote, and every vote is supposed to be equal, right? It's supposed to take supposed everybody's to vote into consideration. Right. Is that always what's best for the community as a whole? For the game I, as a whole. I could touch on that because I don't think it should be a democracy per se. Like I said, these guys, if they were a new development team, I think it's great for a new development team to kind of gain analytical data so we can find out what's best for the good majority of the people. Right. But they are over two decades into this whole process. And I think that they should have enough data to know what functions properly for uh, the good majority of the player base. Right. Democracy, I feel that you shouldn't let in, in, you know, considering the idea of developing a game that's supposed to reach the masses, you can't have democracy. Uh, right. And yeah. they have a, they have a reference, well, and that's it's the NBA. The is too hard. Everybody's yeah. saying, you know, the steel is too overpowered. You gotta listen. Yeah. But gotta the thing is. They have hmm. all this, I'm going to try to say this word, they have all this telemetrical data that hmm. Mike was speaking about on Reddit. So he knows what everybody's shooting. He probably oh, got a so big dashboard. There you go. He's probably say it again. Wow. In and he has a big dashboard. Say it, again. Says, it says, you got me on that one. We're going to dial By that the down. way, you got me on to that add one. to what you were saying, Jay, by the way, Mike Wang, in, in regards to the online game woes, he said mm-hmm. that we are three to five percent lower Hello? than the target he, that he ah. wants. So the, so that was supposed to be maybe that was the last update. Easy. It was an increase, so right. you should have been hitting more shots. Right. But the fact that they know this, like you said, Jay, they're right. watching. They know what you're shooting. They got, they got the data, mm. just like when 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 they, they said they said <laughs> that my my limitless range ain't working. It's not going mm. up. He went straight into his file and said, you're shooting about one every three games. So that's why your limitless range isn't going up. They know exactly what everybody's doing. Ain't that doing. So. Say it again. They, crazy. They, they, they can see everything. Say that. They can yeah, see it yeah, down Bruce. to the user and down to mm-hmm. the file. So I ain't gonna lie. Exactly this is the first time I'm done. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got no mm-hmm. rebuttal. Usually I'm really good at mm-hmm. devil as a kid, but you all got me. this time. Yeah, can't yeah. do it this time yeah. because they're, they're playing God over shooting. That's just right. a fact. They're playing God over shooting. And, and I'm not going to deny this fact because this is what helps keep me grounded through this whole process is that I'm seeing my homies hit shots. Right. Yeah. So it ain't like I'm just seeing everybody missing it. Yeah. I got to keep it a buck with myself. Is I just want to know, is there a possibility to learn to shoot better? And the fact is on 2K24, there is a possibility you could practice, learn, and shoot better. Yep, and you'll yeah. see those results come to life, come to fruition. Right. Mm. Yeah, I'm not man, comfortable to make those that. changes every week, but that's the problem. <laughs> Facts. But Facts, as a pl- as a person that literally plays this game way too much, I can figure it out every time as long as I get enough shots. But mm-hmm. if you're like me, I also play with randoms. So, I, like mm-hmm. I said, I, I hadn't missed a shot in two yeah, days. Yeah, that's that's but one I only shot you get in every other game, yeah. bro. What are you talking about? Exactly. You I got. Just, I, I only that. took ten shots in fifty games. <laughs> So That's scary, I, bro. I, I didn't I didn't miss, but I only took ten shots. Center, yeah, yeah. Then you sent it with me making. Oh, I'm about to make you, him. Yeah, yeah. That go rogue center. That's why I call it the go rogue because yeah. they piss me <laughs> off. I get that rebound, bro. I'm dribbling it down, bro. Y'all won't play according to what I want y'all to do. I'm sorry, man. I just got. To. <laughs> yeah, and the great because because you because you can only run out of bounds and stand in the middle of the paint so many times and. And and mm-hmm. throw alleys yeah, from yeah. from one baseline too. You can only do that yeah. so much. So yeah, you are definitely right. I'm gonna get these boards, <laughs> and I'm bringing it down. And I'm gonna have 99 <laughs> rebounding on them. I gotta say, man, y'all mm. made this is the first time I cannot defend the next side. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> y'all got me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I get it. I don't, you know, I don't think they need any, you know, and I, I I get what you was trying to do too, bro. But yeah, in this case, the dev team, they don't, especially with how, uh, they had their chest puffed out prior to release. So they were ready. They seemed like they were ready for anything that the community is finna throw at them. That's the thing that was so confident in the product, you know. And I was like, I like, I like Mm -hmm. the energy with this one, man. I like it. And once okay. again, Mike Wing came and said, yo, we're not touching gameplay. We're not going to touch gameplay. Mike Wing, I'm telling you, lying to me. 
Mike, let me look at Facts, you. Mike. Mike, listen to me. Facts in, my life, in my life, I allow to lie to me more, like, Never. this often. Like, the moment they lie to me, I, I'm like, yo, this person is a liar. Mike, I'm not going to call you a liar. I'll give you one more chance. One more. I don't know. You already lied, bro. You say that I'm not allowing me to give you an extra. Mike, nah, man. Mike, now you have to earn my trust again, Mike. You gotta earn it. And when it yeah, in fact, when the way in which to earn that trust is to stick with us through the journey. Right. When this game is stabilized and is you're done making fixes, then you dip out and go do what you got to do. But if you're not able to answer, you should have somebody there to answer yeah, the call for the community. Should, somebody mm -hmm. should be there saying, yo, we know y'all dealing with these instability issues. And it's a simple tweet. Yeah. Simple you tweet, know, right? We know y'all doing this. We are working on fixing these, y'all. Trust me, we're working on it. That's all we need. And we'll be like, all right, cool. Mm. At least they're hearing what we're talking about. At least, right? Yeah. At least yeah. they're hearing the stability facts, issues because yeah. if there's stability issues, man, they need to address them. And this is the thing. I think you ought to only work on stability issues, as Jay said, more stability issues before gameplay. After right. stability mm. issues, like the latency and all that stuff, now you could better gauge, okay, this person might be complaining about shooting because of the latency that they're experiencing and not necessarily that the game or the shooting is off, just that the person... The servers and their console just don't work right or something. I don't know about <laughs> developing, so I'm just guessing, you know what I'm saying? Right. But at least address that first before you move on to touching the gameplay, y'all. Yeah, and, and, I, and I will. I can play devil's advocate a little bit for him because as mm. an IT guy, I'm going to tell you straight up, I mm. try to fix. I know that you know there's an issue, but I try to fix it before you say something. I can't fix mm. it before you know there's an issue, right? Because if the internet's down, you know it's down. But I do try to yeah. fix things. Or if your email is not working, you know it's not working. But I try to fix it in a way that it just starts kind of working again. And then you'd be yeah, like, oh, maybe there was just a hiccup. And I think that <laughs> maybe that's a lot of what's going on there. Because I, mm -hmm. I, I, I do routinely do that. I try to fix something before anybody else. You fix it before it becomes a widespread problem. But mm -hmm. one or two people are going to inevitably notice. They will notice. And they'll be like, you know, I'll get a couple of tickets. But I fixed a big problem in the end. Just be so like, yeah, I already fixed it. Yes, so <laughs> you are part of the problem. But we, but, so but, that's, that's what's happening this week with shooting. That's what went down. That's what I got from that. That's what I got from that. Big part of the problem. Yeah, I'm part of the problem. Yeah, but we uh, also oh. normally send out emails saying, "Hey, we were experiencing this issue earlier. Mm. We, we we did fix it in a timely manner. So blah 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 blah. So we come back and throw out a blurb and say that we worked on it. But like, they they don't. So they'll fix it. They'll just say you know, you know, random other fixes in the in the patch notes it's a several mm -hmm. other other these related fixes and we'd be like we always want to know what those are but we don't always yeah. get to know especially when we see the changes online exactly. like we just know it we know I'm what's at the happening point, man. just lead a game where it says and fix the stability issue just leave, yeah. there leave you go. Up where it's at leave it out, where it's at. let's figure it out we're gonna play the rest of the year that way it's all good leave the duncan we got a problem with y'all in that dump, you know, but we're going to have that conversation a different time. <laughs> leave it where it's at. Just leave everything where it's at and let's figure it out, man. All right. Now, I got one more thing I want y'all to cover, man, because the cheaters, woo. I ain't going to front with y'all. I'm seeing a lot of posts with people with the Zans. Sensational. <laughs> a lot of posts with people with yeah. the Titans. And from yeah. what I heard, it's more advanced now. From what I heard, someone hit me up and said, yo, they're now dropping a script where you don't need the bar anymore, and it's identifying when is the perfect cue and timing to release. So now mm. a streamer could be using that, and we don't even know it. If it just lights out. Now, the dumb side to all this is you can't tell who is who, to be honest. If someone is too good, it might be that they're really that good. But guess right. what? Because we know there's cheaters running around, we're going to assume, oh, this person... Might be a mm -hmm. little many, many, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A little many. Sensational. Exactly. No, my question is, what can we really do about the cheaters? We're going to start with City on this one. All right. Now, I'm going to speak honestly from my personal experience. And right. I know you guys have different experiences. I primarily play Squad's Rec. In Squad's Rec, and I've done this for years, it's already going on a few years, I have not experienced many players using a Zen. 
Somebody, mm-hmm. and even if they had, maybe we locked them up and we they didn't Probably. get a chance to really, you know, make it happen because we run intense defense. But I just mean to say, it's not, in my opinion, from what I've experienced, I haven't seen it be that much of an issue to have this aggressive approach towards Zens or cheating devices. Those, uh-huh. That's my personal take from my, my experience. Let's see what you guys uh-huh. think. Jay, for me, y'all know I'm king of the randoms. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we, we I, I, all I play is House of Randoms and Random Rick. I see it a lot in mm-hmm. there, in the uh, in the House of Randoms. When I see somebody, I, that's why I put the video up that day. I say, yo, that's, that's a little too. If I see somebody shooting a little too confidently and they're continuously hitting, it's like, mm-hmm. bro, why, why, why aren't you somewhere else? You're shooting, that's, that's way too much confidence. For the amount of defense, yeah. to like you should have friends. Yeah, right. The homie like, should why, have a squad. You should have friends. friends, right? Mm. And so then you go to random wreck, and like random wreck, they're a little bit more discreet with it because they just get out, they run out on breaks, and then all of the shots are open. Yeah. But we know mm. that you're not hitting eight shots in a row on this game. It is hard <laughs> as the dickens to hit eight consecutive <laughs> shots. That was a pause game. moment. Bro, this what? pause moment was bro. brought to you by Jay Easy. Bro, I tried to be like, oh, man. Really? Yeah, no, it was hard as a dick. Oh, no, yeah, there you go. Hey, listen, man. It is, it is, uh, when oh, I'm not going to let it out, it is gas station rhino peel hard. To hit oh, shots, to man. Hit eight shots in a row in this game. It's hard. Bro, it's hard. Bro, it's hard. You can't get one pause in the game. Bro, that's what y'all, they was laughing at me. How y'all know about the, how y'all Y'all know about my my secrets. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what the hell is a rhino pill. I was the first. Oh man! I was like, oh, Jay's about that rhino pill. I like, but how you know the whole community community talking about hard as a Dickens? Now you hear this everywhere, bro. Now it's gonna spread through the 2K community. It's dangerous. (laughs) I do. I just want to say, it's, it's without simple. the break, it's, it's yeah. Man. So on, they, they, they'll they'll shoot. They just run out on the break, catch the ball, shoot it. And so <laughs> since they're wide open, since they wide open, <laughs> I can't do nothing around y'all, man. Since they have no, since no, since there's no D on them, they can. Mm-hmm. All right, man. <laughs> Since there's nobody around, there's no other way yeah. to describe it. It's just it's rhino right. pills and hard as a dickens. That's it. There's no <laughs> other way it. to describe it. But I'm just saying, okay, so so they run out, there's no D on them, and they're able to shoot the ball because because mm. there's bro, you know, no defense, bro. No defense. They, okay. no D on they, them. they run down court, no and there's shit. nobody no there. They'll they'll wide, they, you know, they. Yeah, we went down the <laughs> court. Right down they're, the they're, corner. They're, 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 the court is over here, and we went down the block all the way that way, <laughs> and then made a right turn, and we I ended saw. up that hard as a dick there. Their rhino they, they just they are, they're all alone <laughs> on the break, and they shoot the ball, but it's hard to hit eight of those in a row. And some I had I was playing with a guy the other day. I had a sixty three and a seventy three on my team. The, the mm-hmm. seventy three said, "Yo, I just put this ninety. I've spent twenty dollars to put this ninety two three ball on my guy. It better work." Bro, this dude literally hit almost every shot and had like 45. Now, now, hmm. part of my winning strategy was every time I got takeover, I put playmate take and I just launched it to him down the court. But mm-hmm. still, mm-hmm. he hit, he hit, what if he had 48 points and, and all of them were threes except for like one? Yeah. I mean, no, 40, 45, 48. No, you can't get 40. It was all threes. And he, he was like, it was like something like 15 or 16 or 17 for like, hmm. like, um, like he missed like three shots, pretty much. Mm, and so, yeah. like, I knew something was special about that. But I, like I said, if you're on my squad and and I don't know, no, I'm just gonna keep feeding you, man. Just don't tell me that you're sensational. But the problem, <laughs> but like I said, random wreck, random squads, you do see it a lot. <laughs> and and the pure green window is the real issue because last year we could play defense on it. There was something we can do about it. This year, yeah. un- with the pure green window and that thing identifying it down to the pixel. Unless you block the shot, they're going to hit it. They can shoot everything in your face with impunity, and they ain't got to worry about it because mm. they have a pure green window. Well, now y'all got me thinking different now because y'all brought up that Mike Quinn got statistics and numbers. Mm. Now, this yes. is an idea. Yep. This yep. is an yep. idea, yep. Mike. Yep. Listen to your boy. I ain't know nothing about, you know, the job, but listen to your boy right yeah. now, man. This is why you can talk to Brute, man. Right? Couldn't you? You could include Jay Easy and all if you feel like it, man. Whatever, Jay. <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> but if you know, all right, the elite shooters shoot a certain percentage, right? Mm-hmm. Could it raise your alarm 
if somebody got to be skyrocketing. All of a sudden, they're skyrocketing above that. And it's keeping on top there for a long period of time. Should that raise your alarms? Then y'all could then go and investigate that situation. And then yeah, we haven't had one like announcement saying this person's been banned because of cheating. Right. Exactly. You know, but there have been some like people that's been that. banned now. There have been some people that have been yep. banned. But mm-hmm. but then, but like I mean, since they have the data, they got all that. Yeah, for Zenny, yeah. Uh, but they got all mm-hmm. that data. What I would say is this. If you know somebody keeps timing their shot to the T to five, or let's say if the earliest green is 501 and to be safe, they put it at 506, 508. If they keep timing it to that, come on, bro. Like, yeah, but I would say, that's saying with the different technology now and the visual cue and it being variable shot timing, it's going to be hard right. to narrow it down to that. That's why I went for the percentages. Right. So if it goes way above what they consider because they're going to have right. the statistics, what they you consider is a weird. Right. Now you start, okay, this person is now under the microscope. Let's check this dude out because... Simple right. fix, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's check this dude out and keep an eye on him for the next few games or whatever. It should raise some type of alarm right. that would then activate some kind of um, investigation. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then when that person is under review and, you know, hopefully they could do something about it that way. Yeah. Because I mean, you know when something's unnatural. Them them clips that we've been seeing, bro, you're not shooting from the other team's three point line on a regular basis in somebody's face. Like, come on, bro. Like that's that's but that's what's happening. Other teams three point line contested three people there. But I seen one with I bro, that dang. I seen some bad ones. I just seen, I just seen, you seen the one, seen the last two, one. I seen that two talk secure, bro. He <laughs> didn't care. He mm. did not care. It was thug life. For real, for him, that joker <laughs> ran to the corner, spin shot, and said, eh. "From and half court, are you talking about?" A, it was uh, right at half court in comp pro yeah. mm-hmm. Three people it. right now. Three people on him. Yeah, jumped at him. I just saw one for zero. You got Damn. it, bro. They say you got it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why you, you got it, bro. You got it. <laughs> this man spin. He and, said and he the, did like a step back the type the of thing. Right and, now, it's crazy. Yeah. They're arrogant. With it. That's the thing. They're and, arrogant. With it. And then I try. If I'm cheating, bro, I'm gonna hide it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it on when oh, I need when it. When I need it, oh, right? I'm gonna take it off and play on the regular games. No, they arrogant with it. They are destroying you yeah. from behind the next in the park. They shooting from behind the half court on a regular basis. That's their range. They don't <laughs> yeah. care. And, they don't and, care. And the thing about it is too is that this. I think another thing that this shows is how many. Like I, when I say the whole community is content creators, why do that many people have have? Capture cards and they ain't posting that, bro. The whole community is content creators. Like everybody got a capture card. Yeah, you gotta have a capture card. Everybody got one. Why does everybody got a capture card? Because they wait to get that video on you and drop you off. Oh, I got you. You need a capture card for real. Yes, Mm. you need it because it's that's how it could identify the pixels. And maybe that's right. why they don't stream that. too, they, because you can't run it through that. So, like, if you got the one that we have, you can use multiple programs at a time. But maybe that's why none of them stream because you can't run it through that program. You you can't have access to a video oh, yeah, source in two separate programs. If you have the, if you got the capture card that I, I'm not going, I'm not, I can't say it because now everybody will buy. If you have the capture card that I have, I can record clean video in one program and have my stream in the other one to record my stream video, but. Not mm-hmm. everybody has that capture card, so where well, you can run it in two different programs. So, hmm. so to elaborate, yeah, just so that uh, people watching they understand that this device is checking the pixels yeah. so that it'll stop at the green in your yeah. green window. It stops everything when it sees right. a green right. pixel. Yeah, uh, and that was the and that's what's going on. Out there. Now there's no more, from what I've heard, right. It may well, identify bro, the very flat hand. Identi- or, exactly. Or so the, let's say you go set point. That's your head. All right, yeah. cool. You go, practice, find out the cue, and then dial it in. And as soon as I hit the cue, yeah. Yeah. It's wow. like machine so, learning pretty much. It's, it, it, <laughs> it learns what it is, and it knows what it looks like every in every situation. It is, <laughs> you got a lot of smart people behind this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of small people behind this. Trust me, there's a lot of money to be made behind that. That's fine, uh, mm-hmm. of course, man. So that's all, man. That's all. Y'all got any last words before we head out, y'all? 
Well, I hope for the best, man. I'm hoping that I personally could get shooting down. If you guys are struggling out there, I'm hoping you guys could get it down as well because, man, it's so discouraging. And it really is detrimental to your complete game when you can't have shooting as a part of your offense. Mm -hmm. So I hope things change, man. And I hope the uh, 2K team gets it together and starts communicating with us again and take us through this journey till till its end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't don't get rattled by negative comments, bro. We all get it. Part of being on the internet, even my, even my dog Dom works say he's struggling right now, man. But <laughs> yeah, I saw that from Dom. I, I said, like, What I'm gonna like that one confusing me, man. He's confusing <laughs> me. One time, Dom works said, Yo, I'm struggling. Next time, you're saying, Yo, I can't miss, like, bro, damn, damn, damn. You can't <laughs> me at two, you're struggling, then at three, you lights out, like, Oh, you got an hour man. log, right? Oh, man, we gotta have we gotta have to have time here one one time. Yo. Yeah, you, I would like that. I would like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any last thoughts? Yeah, my on my, on my my last thoughts is uh, you know, what I'm saying this this is gonna be one of my my next shirts that I'm putting out. If you have stru- if you have oh, problems shooting, believe in yourself, even if nobody else does. So if nobody's yeah, passing right. you the ball, you know, what I'm what it's Sasquatch. This is Sasquatch, man. What you mean? It's a Bigfoot. You gotta racist. believe. Bro. Racist. Because I'm black? Racist. And you he like. Racist. Right here. Right here. And Spanish. Right here. Because I'm black. Racist. I'm, 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 I'm gotta, Hey, even when they won't pass you, know. you the ball, even when you in the <laughs> random wreck and you can pull 15 boards and you finally come up court and you're wide open. And they won't pass you the basketball. Still, just believe in yourself, even when nobody else will. Eventually, you'll get the ball, and you're gonna smoke that joint because you haven't shot in 15 games. But mm. that's not that's not the point. The point is believing yourself, and, and also try to play help defense. Can y'all please do that, man? Please try oh, to play okay, help. Okay, help okay, defense. Jay. Who speaker are you? Look, you like the yeah, yeah, right? He, he said, "I'll uh, lift you up and then knock you down." Come on, bend me and kick me in the back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, "Drop kick." <laughs> believe, but also believe in your help defense, then, because yeah. you know, y'all help Man. defense. It's officially oh. the worst motivational teacher on speaker oh. ever. You're supposed to build. You're supposed to tear. Say you're the best, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I get it, though, man. Oh, yeah, that's mm. all I got, though, man. Love, love each and every last one of y'all. Appreciate Thanks. y'all, guys. Thank y'all for supporting us. It's mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. need you know, keep 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 pushing the show, and we're gonna keep Bye. doing what we're doing. Thanks, man. Make sure you keep liking and sharing, man, and subscribe to everybody. You always see the handles right there, man. I appreciate it. We got next one in the books, man. We got next one, all right? So not too many pause moments by Jay, you know what I'm saying? But, right. yeah, we like this one. So anyways, I'll man. <laughs> yeah, done, no, man. All right, y'all, man. Have a best one until next time, y'all. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. Easy.